going to be using a, a palette knife a little bit too in here. This is kind of a purple. I'm just kind of bringing in a little bit of different colors in here. Then I'm going to take my brush and um, just sort of blend it a little bit. smooth it out. There's one flower and I'm going to have a little touch of one right here. And a little one right up in here. I'm going to straighten them out in a minute. Trying to give a shape to it. The shape of that one. And that one. You have to use pretty thick white in order to well, combine them two together. Like it curve like that. Maybe I have a small one right here. Now you notice I, I blend it with the other colors and now I'm starting to blend a little bit up in here for the other one. That's not my best palette. It's good for a lot of things. See, I'm just blending this in here. This one right there. A different shape. How about something down in here? Maybe the flowers. Now I'm going to make the base and I'm going to go like this because I want to blend it in with this other. I just kind of leave it. And then I need a little bit of light green. So 
and pieces in here. Okay, I'm trying to get a painting of a picture of it, and uh, not been easy to do by yourself, but uh, it's okay. It's fun to do, and you know, I'm lucky to be able to do it now, but last year I fell and bumped my head and had a blood clot, and it was a risky uh, operation, and I woke up in the dark dungeon, and I looked up, I saw a door with a large figure, a beautiful figure, standing there. And I said, are you God? And he said, yes. And then he was gone, and then I was in the dark, and I felt somebody touch my hand. And I said, are you Jesus? And he said, yes. He said, I've come to ask you a question. And I said, what? He said, do you really want to go down to the earth again with all this pain? I didn't answer. And he said, my child, do you want to go back down to that place where they're killing everybody and there's so much evil? And then I thought, well, Jesus, you came down here. Look how they hated you. Look what they did for you. As he put you on the cross for your sins of the world. You died for my sins. Now I want to go back and live for you. And he said, Will you paint this? And I said, Yes, I will. And he said, I'll give you the strength. And he's been with me ever since, giving me the strength to paint. And that's why I'm telling you about this today, because God is real. And so it's, he's so beautiful, and he's so forgiving and loving. And if you delight yourself in the Lord, you open your heart to him and ask him to come into your heart, and he will give you all the desires of your heart. Isn't that a wonderful promise? You know, today, I just can't tell you enough how important in this day and age, it is to have the Lord. If you don't know Him, you better get busy and ask Him to come in your heart and save you, because He will, and you will go to heaven instead of the other places so terrible. And so please today, listen to me and take heed my words. God is telling you, come to Him. He loves you, and He loves you very much. So today, I'm committing myself to Him. I've been waiting for 75 years. That's a long time. But praise the Lord. At 97, He has blessed me, and I can still do it. Thank you all, my friends.